Leslie here, and I want to show you how to deep link on Rakuten, formerly Linkshare, but I want to show you how to do it with a product image. I already have a video showing you how to deep link with this particular system. It's only four minutes long. So if all you want is the deep link, you could watch that video. I'll put the link in the notes. But this one's going to actually show you how to deep link it to an image so that you can link your image, your product image, with your affiliate link and make sales that way. So you're going to go to links, deep linking, and you're going to select the merchant. For this one, I'm just going to use Walmart, good old trusty Walmart. And rather than using their image link format, we're going to do it a different way because their image link format is a little bit confusing. Um, and I've, I've heard many people tell me that. So I'm going to show you the way that I do it. And you can feel free to do it any way you like. But here's two ways that I do it, okay? For Walmart, you have to go to Walmart and you have to find the product that you want to use. So I'm just gonna go with this thing here, Google Home, okay? Now what you want to do, I'm gonna scoot this up, all right. We want to take the direct URL to this product, okay? And the direct URL actually ends at this question mark right here. All this other stuff after the question mark is just for like, routing purposes. It's just telling Walmart how you got there, you came through the home page. It's kind of like, you know, it's just a bunch of nonsense. It's just, you don't need it. Really, all you need is a direct link to the product, and that ends um, after, and that's, that's everything before this question mark right here. So you could copy that, and to test it, you can actually just open it up in a new window, what you copied, and it should just take you straight to that product. See? Okay, so we didn't need all that other junk on the end. So if you have all the other junk on the end, don't stress on it, but you really only need um, up until this question mark, okay? And then go to Rakuten with that copied and put it right here, okay? Paste that link right there. And then that's going to, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna say URL and you're gonna ask it to create the link, okay? So that's the link. That is the direct link to the product wrapped with your affiliate ID. So you can take this and you can link it to the image for the product. And I'm going to show you how to do that. This is just an open blog post. Um, nothing's on it. We're going to go ahead and we're going to grab the image URL. So you're going to right mouse click over it and you're going to copy the image address. Okay. You're going to take that back over to your blog post and you're going to add media. You're going to go to insert from a URL and you're going to paste that right there. See the image pop up? And you should give it a, cap it, a caption. I mean, um, not caption. You don't have to give it a caption. But you should give it an alt text because that's good for SEO. So, you know, whatever. Um, I'm just going to write whatever because, but you should definitely uh, fill that in with something, you know, optimized for search engines, whether it's the name of the product or, you know, just something relevant to the product. It, it, you should fill that in um, because Google bots and things can't see pictures. They can only see what you write in the alternative text, okay? So give it a good alt text. I just put whatever, but you're not going to put whatever. So insert that into the post. Now you're going to see we have the image in the post. If the image is too big, you can take it and you can shrink it. You can do whatever you want, okay? Whatever. Go back, get your image from Rakuten. I mean your image, your link, pardon my verbiage, it's early here. Copy that link, okay? Go back to your post and click on the image so that it's highlighted and go to insert edit link. And you're going to paste that there, okay? And now that is linked with your affiliate ID. Here's the thing with affiliates. You have to add the nofollow to that particular code, okay? And I have a video on this. I'll put the link in the notes, but I'm just going to show you how to do it for the sake of this video. I have a text notepad here where I keep my nofollow code and a bunch of other stuff that I want. And I'm just going to copy that. And I'm going to tap that. I'm going to go into my text. And I'm actually going to blow this up so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to put that right after the URL, right here after this little quotation before the bracket. Okay? That's the link. You can see 
Walmart Link Synergy, okay? I'm going to put that right here. I'm going to put a little space between it, okay? What this is, is this little nofollow code tells um, Google not to pass my link juice over to this affiliate. So any link juice that you've gathered is now not going to be passed through to your affiliates, okay? This is a, a link with mutual benefit. So I'll go ahead and I can put a I can put a, something down in the description if you want to learn a little bit more about that, but you definitely want to put the nofollow onto your affiliate links. Now you're going to say, well, you put on two things. I did. I put on two things. Target blank opens it up in a new window. I want it to open up in a new window because it's an affiliate link. I don't want them to take them off of my site right away. I want to keep them on my site open the affiliate in a new window because maybe there's something they still need to read. I don't know. And then this is the nofollow code. I will put both of these down in the description so you can add them there along with a video um, showing you exactly how I do it. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the visual. You'll see, I'm going to back up a little bit. Okay, and you'll see that it doesn't change anything about the link um, other than me just putting that on the back end, okay? And I know it worked because I have, I have a browser extension that tells me it works. See that red box around it? That red box isn't actually there. It's only on my browser, and it's just telling me what is a nofollow link. Like these are internal links through my website, so I wouldn't want to nofollow those, right? So there's no red box around them. Anything internally, I wouldn't put a nofollow on. This is only externally for things with mutual benefit. So go ahead and read the article below if you need to understand more about that. But there are two ways that you can actually do this, okay? So that's one way, all right? And you can put it to the left and to the right and the center, whatever you want to do with it, okay? But there's actually another way you can do this. I'm going to go ahead and show you, and it's with easy product displays. The reason I would use easy product displays with this particular um, affiliate is because I can make a buy button if I wanted to, okay? Um, I like buy buttons. I like calls to action. This product costs me about $5 a month. There is a link down in the description if you want to check it out. I think they do have like a three-day free trial. So you can check it out if you want to. Okay, so anyways, this is EPD, and I just went, I'm sorry, let me go back home so I can explain better. I went to create product displays, okay? That's going to take me here. It's going to ask for the product URL right here, okay? That's what we got. That's what this is, okay? So we're going to take that product URL. You're going to put it in there where it says product URL. Ta -da. And then it's called, what, Google Home? So just write Google Home or whatever the product is going right there. Here's where you're going to put the product image URL, okay? So we're just going to do right mouse click, copy image URL, and we're going to paste that here, okay? Now we're going to select a size. Check this out. See this? Whoops. Now I can actually go and add a buy button. Here, let me go slower, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna go, it says no buy button right now, but I'm gonna add one to it. And I'm gonna go with the ready to use buttons. And look at buy now at Walmart. See, they already have all these really great buttons built in. And that's why I like easy product displays, right? Because people can know where they're buying from. Ba -bum. And so then here it is. Now it's got this red box around it only because it's already set the no follow for you. Isn't that nice? Now you don't have to copy any codes or do anything um, like that. You just take this code here, you copy it, and you take it back to your website, and you paste it in the text area. Okay. So this is the first one I did, and here's the second one I did. Now the reason this is off-center is actually because their image is off-center. It's not because the buy button is off-center. It's just, see this little streak here? It's the image. Okay, so the image is kind of off square. But I like to put buy buttons, and I think that's a really nice way um, to tell people that they can buy it. Okay, so that's why I would use easy product displays. And I can customize the size right here. And then I can have more than one product. Just, you know, I could have three products if I wanted to. Um, let's just, I'm going to use the same products, but let me just go ahead and show you what I mean. That's by putting in two next to each other. Right, and then you can add the buy button, you know, whatever. Um, see, and then you can have two products next to each other, and you can actually keep going. Okay, you can have up to like five products next to each other, 
or you can just have one or whatever you want to do. And if you want, you could even take one out and you can shift these to the left and the right and you can start putting text in like this is Google Home, blah, 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 blah. And then hit apply. And you'll see that it's, it's going to go ahead and shift it to the left and put your your information in there. You can just take that back. Here, let's paste over it and take a look. Okay, so this, uh, you can see that it shifted it to the left and then it started writing it over here um, on the side. So you can, and you can just keep filling this in if you have more to say. If you have more to say, see how it just kind of shifts it um, to the left for you? So I like that. So that's one another way you can do it. But again, that, that does cost $5 a month. But I like it because of all the little buy button features. But you can do it manually um, the way that I showed you right here. Just by copying the image URL, then highlighting, insert link, and boom, you're all set. Okay, so anything I talked about, I'll leave links in the notes for you, and I hope this was helpful.